Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was asked to do a video which is called Dear Me, which is all about the things that I would tell my former younger self. This video is to celebrate International Women's Day and it's something that I feel very passionate about. Now, when I was a kid, I was a little bit too serious and I was a little bit of a worry wart, so I'm just gonna jump in and have a chat to my former self and I'm gonna tell her a few little things that I know now and uh, things that I wish I knew when I was 15 or so. So hopefully you guys, especially some of the younger viewers, might get something out of this, but really it's just to celebrate women, women all over the world who are doing great things and to encourage each other. We really should group together as women and just promote the fact that being a girl and being a woman is awesome. Let's do this video. So the first thing that I would tell my 15 year old self is, girl, just chill out. Everything is going to be okay. It's gonna be more than okay. Your life is going to be amazing. Stop worrying so much. Stop being so serious. There is plenty of time to get serious about life down the track. You only get to be a teenager once. Just once, you get to be an adult for the rest of your life. Just please, just relax, keep calm. You don't have to grow up so soon. Life is going to be amazing. The other thing that I wanna to say to myself is, it's okay to have fun. You're allowed to have fun, you're a kid. Enjoy these days when it's a little bit simpler because it's gonna get a hell of a lot more complex later on. Life is gonna get more difficult, but for now, just have fun. The next thing that I would say to myself is, be prepared, girl, be prepared. Your first heartbreak from your first serious boyfriend, mm -hmm, you know who I'm talking about, it is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt like hell and you're gonna feel rubbish. You're gonna feel crap. You're gonna feel like life will never go on. You're going to think that the world is coming to an end. You may feel like you won't be able to get out of bed for six months because you're gonna be so depressed and so upset. But let me tell you this, the fact that he has broken up with you is the best gift that he could have ever given you because once you've got time to sit back and reflect on the situation, you're gonna know that he was not right for you. He was never right for you. And although he's not an evil person, he's also not the guy that you have built up in your head. So it's actually a wonderful thing that he's broken up with you. It's going to hurt, but life is gonna get so much better because he has broken up with you. You're gonna go on, you're gonna do great things, you're gonna meet other guys, you're gonna fall in love again, and eventually you're gonna find the right guy that treats you incredibly well. It's gonna make you stronger. You will be a lot more resilient for this breakup. It's gonna make you a little bit harder, but that's okay. It just means that in the future, you're gonna be stronger to deal with all the different kind of challenges and falls that you're gonna have, but life will go on, I promise you. Okay, the next point I would tell myself is stop worrying about how you look. You look great, you don't even know it yet, but you do look great. You're never going to look like those girls in the magazines, and that's actually a really cool thing. Just embrace being yourself and be proud of the person that you're becoming. Please, don't do those fad diets. Those fad diets, they don't work. Stop weighing yourself every day. Get off those scales. Don't worry about that. Don't focus on a number. Don't sweat it. It's all good. You're growing. Your body is changing. It's meant to kind of go up and down. So just be a little gentle with yourself. Don't worry about your looks so much. I know it's hard but just try to focus on the person within instead of what is going on the outside because at the end of the day, what really matters is how you feel about yourself and trying to be a good person. So maybe focus more on trying to be a good person than focusing on how good you look on the outside. All right, the next thing I would tell myself is all the hard work that you're doing and all those massive dreams that you're dreaming about, they're gonna happen. Keep working really, really hard, keep doing your work experience, keep doing internships, you're on the right track. These things are gonna pay off. Don't get disheartened when you do a hell of a lot of work experience and you feel like there's, it's maybe never gonna pay off, it will pay off. Keep on that road and keep going, keep striving because I promise you it's gonna pay off tenfold by working really hard now. So the next thing I would tell myself is that life is a beautiful pleasure. You are so blessed to live in an amazing country. You've got an amazing family. You've got good friends around you. You are blessed, appreciate everything Every single day, you are so lucky to have the life that you have. You go to a great school, you've got awesome opportunities, you really need to appreciate this. Yes, there's going to be hard times, but there's also going to be some amazing times ahead as well. So just go with the flow on the low times, just see it for what it is, 
and you know the hard times are going to make the good times even better so just go with it learn from it shake it off and then move on all right here's another point for your sister there sadly is a lot of toxic people in the world there's a lot of hate in the world it's your job now to start thinking about what makes a person good and what makes a person bad because this is going to form your opinion and also help you work out who you want to be around so here's a little tip some people just appear to be good. Not everyone is good. Some people are better at appearing like they're good people, but you're really gonna have to suss them out and dig a little bit deeper to work out if they actually are a good person and if they're worthy enough to have them in your life. I want you to stop and take it all in. I want you to continue to be a great person. I want you to be a kind person. Focus on being interested in other people. Enjoy people and get to know them. I really think that this will set you apart when you get a little bit older. Life is just gonna fly by so quickly and and before you know it, you're gonna be 30. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna look back on your life and go, whoa, what just happened? How did that happen? How did I turn 30? That's crazy. It will happen. And so just enjoy every day, see it as a gift and, uh, and be proud of the person that you're becoming. You are gonna make your parents proud. You are gonna have some amazing friends. You are gonna find the ultimate big love of your life and you're gonna have an amazing career. So chill out, keep calm, keep it real and just be you. Just really embrace the unique person that you are because it's all going to be good. So there you have it. Those are the points that I would tell my 15 year old self or my former younger self. I hope it helps some of the younger viewers. I wanna celebrate International Women's Day because women rock and we really are amazing when we come together, we support each other, when we lift each other up and not pull each other down or get jealous or envious. That's really when we can do some incredible work in the world. Thanks for tuning in guys. Hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up or leave any questions below and uh, I will be sure to get back to you thanks so much guys I'll see you soon bye